karma, probably one of the most misunderstood words. For sure, it's become part of the English lexicon today, but misunderstood and misinterpreted in a million different ways, a range of things. The nature of karma is just like that, its interpretations. The karmic structure is a very complex mess. But there is a... there are very, uh, what to say, very descriptive stories in the Indian culture about the type of jewelry the courtesans used to wear. That is, very famous courtesans were covered in gold and diamonds. No clothes, only jewelry covered their body. Such complex jewelry that when... Uh, when the men who came to them, they had no clue how to take off this jewelry because it was such a complex web of chains. Try as hard as they did, but they cannot get this jewelry off. Jewelry is beautiful, but for a man who is... whose mind is running right with lust, this is a barrier. So, usually uh, she encourages him to drink and drink, little more and little more, so that he sleeps and gifts her more jewelry and goes home. But when she wants to take it off, there is just one pin normally located at where our Anahata is. This one pin, if she pull, pulls, the entire jewelry falls down in one... Sh Karma is like this, it's a complex web of chains. Some of them, of course, decorated with diamonds. Some are ugly, some are rusted chains, but chains and chains and chains. But there is just one single pin, only because you are not able to consciously find that pin. The fundamental reason, <laughs> let me tell you, the fundamental reason why there is a culture or there is a tradition of depending upon a guru for one spiritual growth is just this, that you want him to pull the plug when the time is ripe. Because in this complex web of chains, you don't know where the pin is. Right now, if you try to find it, you can go on a search forever and not find it. And if you find it, just in case, if you find it, you will dismantle it in such a way that you'll dismantle your very life. To dismantle it skillfully, that just what... just the karmic aspect falls off and you exist as a liberated being. That takes lots of skill. It is for that skill that you come to your guru. It is your karma that you have to endure me. If you had figured it out yourself, you didn't have to bother about me. So, Sadhguru, when are you going to pull my plug? That means it's not... you're not ready yet. If you have... If you are in a state where you think your karma is a burden and you must get rid of it, you are not yet ready for it. If you come to a state where you have learned how to transform every memory, conscious and unconscious, pleasant and unpleasant, beautiful and horrendous ones, everything into well-being. If you come to that state, then it'll be good for me to pull the pin. Now if you pull the pin, <laughs> because this is not liberation, this is an escape. There is difference between walking out of this body and committing suicide. <laughs> They're two different things altogether. Committing suicide means you want to escape a difficult situation. Walking out of this means your term is over, <laughs> your time is up, so they've released you. 
These are two different things, completely. If you escape from the prison, you will have to run for the rest of your life. But if you're freed from the prison because your term is up, then you're a free man. That's a big difference. What is love karma? Everything is energy, including your thoughts and emotions, which are energy in motion. So, in essence, everything you do creates a corresponding energy that comes back to you in some form. One, the great law or the law of cause and effect. When most people talk about karma, they're likely referring to the great law of cause and effect, Patel says. According to this law, whatever thoughts or energy you put out, you get back, good or bad, in order to get what you want. You have to embody and be worthy of those things. It's the concept of what you reap. You sow. For example, if you want love in your life, be loving to yourself. And two, the law of creation. The law of creation underscores the importance that life doesn't just happen to us. To make things happen in your life, you need to take action. Instead of waiting for something to magically come your way, you are the co-creator of making what you want, based on your intentions. She recommends asking yourself what you need to release so you can create. Also consider how you can use your skills, talents and strengths to create something that not only benefits you but others. 3. The Law of Humility According to Paul Harrison, creator of the daily meditation, the law of humility is based on the principle that you must be humble enough to accept that your current reality is the result of your past actions. For example, if you're blaming your colleagues for your poor performance at work, Harrison says you must accept that you created this reality by not performing as well as you could have. 4. The law of growth. Growth starts within us. To positively shape the world, you need to start with yourself. That's because real change or personal growth begins with what you have control over, which is yourself. The law of growth also looks at the things you can't control and how you deal with accepting this fate. Ultimately, your focus should be on you, not trying to control the people or things around you. 5. The Law of Responsibility Alex Tran, a yoga instructor based in Sattel, Washington says the law of responsibility is her favorite law to teach in class. It's a reminder that you own what happens to you in life. It's a great reminder that what happens to you is because of you. This eliminates the opportunity for you to look outward to find the cause of your problems, Tran explains. She likes to use this to describe the karma law of responsibility. You are the product of the choices you make. 6. The Law of Connection This law is based on the principle that everything in your life, including your past, present and future, who you are today, is the result of your previous actions, Harrison says, and who you will be tomorrow will be the result of your actions today.